Hi everyone, welcome back to another uh, Banthor Blitz and uh, I hope all of you are doing well. And uh, today I'm, as uh, as I always say, you can challenge me three, three plus zero, three plus two or five plus zero and so on. Uh, preferably without increment as uh, it gives more chances to uh, others and uh, perhaps no bullet and uh, let's go. I already have an opponent here, uh, which I accepted randomly, but uh, somehow uh, the game is, game hasn't begun. So I will just abort this and take a new challenge. Okay, let's take a new challenge. Okay, so from Spain, Aria. Okay, so what do we play today? Let's play Slav today. Um, yeah, it's very interesting opening, although my results haven't been so great. Uh, I always like to play against it. Yeah, this is not that. Uh, this is not a new move. Uh, I don't know what I've, what has happened to my opponent because this is not something which you should be thinking. Uh, okay, so this is all uh, pretty much known theory. So queen e two. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, I can go knight b d seven. I mean, it might appear that I'm giving uh, my bishop away, but uh, I also stopped the activity of uh, dark square bishop. Uh, queen b3, I think it's a5. Is my opponent going to force a draw or something? Uh, yeah, probably, probably so. But uh, bishop d6, queen b7. I remember some kind of drawish draw repetition of moves. But uh, okay, I don't want to repeat here. I think white is a bit better here, uh, no doubt. But it's just. Uh, the beginning and uh, white white still uh, needs to activate the bishop from c1 as uh, I have nice pawns on b4 and b5 and yeah white is thinking a lot and that is a bit surprising so uh, in general, I can I can uh, exchange queens here, I guess, because simply uh, I have an easy play. Bishop to b5. Okay, let's go knight e4. You can see my knights are doing pretty well here, and I think this is uh, this is the power of the knights. And the point is, I'm attacking the bishop, and also I want to get the queen to a2 to attack the a4 pawn. I'm just greedy. And also the b2 pawn. Yeah, here black is, here I'm doing good. Wow, b3, okay. That was, uh, that statement should have been a little bit later. Okay, knight d5, I have nice, Nice outpost on C3. Um, yeah, and uh, if you have any um, uh, interesting uh, variations to play or openings, I mean, you can suggest me, but not all those uh, bone cloud business uh, because I'm not going to do that. 
Um, okay, let's go knight c3. I think this is a, an easy way to uh, convert the advantage. Just c2 and it's, it's enough. I'll be playing a lot of Taimanov and uh, perhaps Slav. And uh, from the white side, I will be shifting. Uh, I will be moving maybe from e4 to d4 and so on. Maybe some ready. Yeah, I'm just going to collect all the pawns. Why not? Okay, so everything is under control, so let's push the pawns. Okay, why not stop this? This is not such a great move, which I played, and yeah, I'm in kind of danger here. Uh, okay, so it's best to do this. So I'm okay. I'm I'm still alive. Okay, that was an uh, interesting game, in fact. So any suggestions? Okay, Benoni, yeah, I like it. Yeah, I might try Benoni. Okay, let's go Benoni. Okay, go C4. Okay, sadly no Benoni, but I will go B5 anyways. This is an interesting setup, uh, just um, not not giving a chance for white to um, go into the Catalans. Of course, it's possible, but um, you know, it's better to avoid it if you can. Okay, this that's a nice idea. Now with with uh, the intention of playing e4. So Black's plan would be generally to put the knight on b4, uh, as you can see, uh, bishop f4 uh, to to play knight b5 or something like that. So I will just go knight a6, knight b4, and then a5. Uh, knight b5, I have c6, so it doesn't help. Yeah, night before. Um, and probably this is a good time to open the center a little bit and to get bishop B, bishop c5, queen b6, put pressure on f2. Yeah, Benoni is a good. Uh, hi, Zevich. In general, I don't like to give away material uh, so early in the game. Um, but yeah, Benoni is a good good suggestion. And oh, Knight A2. It's it's actually a, a quite interesting move. Uh, so uh, White what, what Crypto wanted is to remove the knight, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I remove this. Queen a2, I guess. Queen b6. Yeah, Rulopez, I would like to play. Um, so, yeah, if I get a chance for sure. Nimso Indian, Rulopez, all good. So, I will go e4 next game. 
when you don't know what to do you make a square for the king it all it's always uh, helpful and sometimes i have this tricky knight g3 you know when uh, d4 and c5 pawns are not exchanged and also the f2 pawn is uh, kind of hanging so c takes d4 is a serious threat now i consider the position to be uh, bad for white here yeah bishop e3 is a nice move so i can put more pressure by playing bishop a6 so just on e2 and also the intention is to go rook a b8 attacking the b3 pawn and c4 is is quite interesting too. yeah we should have fun now it's a good time to play c4 queen b wow i think he didn't i think crypto forgot this is like a crash okay what can i do okay that was unfortunate but uh, anyways it's not my fault tom yo yo so i think i'm gonna okay sicilian is not bad maybe night of yeah okay we'll get some night of um let's try h4 i think the point of h4 is what is the point i don't know what is the point why does mateus place this line ah yeah it's knight b3 or knight f no knight f5 knight e4 so it must be knight e knight b3 i have to ask him yeah i mean he usually plays this weird moves but i never understood the ideas behind these moves um it looks like bishop g5 is a normal move here so g3 Uh -huh. Okay, bishop e2. I don't mind exchanging this bishop, in fact. That's a good move. I think bishop f6. Wow, gf6. Interesting. I did not expect that. Hmm. but it's what happens after bishop g4 so queen d7 i might take on e6 if f takes e6 i have queen h5 so i can uh ah, queen d5 okay knight d5 with the idea of knight c7 i expect long castle Uh huh. So queen f3, stopping. I can go queen d3 as well. Okay, maybe this is a time to think a bit. No, no need. Queen f3. So this bishop on e7 is pretty awful. And uh, if I manage to exchange the knights on c6 with the b3, it's pretty much game over for black. wow that's this is a really bad move it means i am going to win pretty fast so 
So now you can see that the bishop on e7 is blocked by the pawns on d6, f6, d8, and uh, whereas my knight is doing a wonderful job on d5. So rook d4 comes, and then the attack on the black's king would be unstoppable. Okay, let's go for the checkmate. So the checkmate ideas in this uh, this scenario is rook takes a6 and queen b6. Since there is no way he can protect uh, queen b6. Wow. <laughs> nice job. All right, so I'm going to give one more shot for uh, Rui Lopez. Let's see if uh, I get a chance. Uh, no castle chess. I actually don't think there is any point because uh, I can. I I don't mind playing uh, like Fisher random. Uh, positions, but uh, I don't see the point with no castling. So, okay, let's go. No more Sicilian. No, no, no issues. Yeah, this is a very um, I mean, it's it's a solid line, but it's a bit uh, um, too narrow, so it's hard to uh, get something big here. Um, and now I don't remember recall exactly how it goes. Is it C four here or I'm not. I actually forgot. Okay, let's go. I actually forgot this line. <laughs> I just know that it's not good. So let's play uh, a3, queen e5. This is not a good choice for Banter Blitz. So, okay, let's go f4. Ah, so this is a new move. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, somehow I feel that my position is really bad here. Okay, I'm going to take this anyway. I take, I, I defend this. Yeah. Plays well. I'm not entirely um, sure about all this, but uh, I don't have so much time. So I have to just go. I just have to wish that everything is fine. I think, what's my idea? Okay. Yeah, this is a nice move. Okay, let's defend this.
yeah i should get h3 king h2 kind of a thing just uh in in the future just you know there was a nice trick with king h1 queen d4 knight f6 but of course uh black is not obliged to take take the piece on d4 yeah i'm i'm happy to see that my opponent is actually thinking here okay let's make a square for the king oh wow uh -huh. but what is this i i i think uh, I think uh, my opponent blundered here because knight f6, knight f6, rook takes f6, it's correct, but uh, I can just take rook f6. And after rook f6, knight f6, uh, it's a check. So, yeah, I think I'm winning here. Yeah, this is good. This is a nice trick, but uh, I wasn't sure about my position, in fact. So h5 or any such moves doesn't work because I just take rook f8 check. And in fact, rook f8, I have knight f6. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah, rook d8 checkmate. So he has. Yeah, okay. This was an interesting game, um, but I don't know exactly where I missed it. Oh, I played with her yesterday. It was very difficult, French. Um, so I will try maybe. Uh, Benoni, let's see if she she maybe wanted to go for the London, so I don't know. Okay, so she has lost. It's always risky thing to do. Well, to be honest, this is not such a great move, uh, but just to confuse, I chose this. And the point of queen d7 is to go bishop h3 or uh, b5. So, uh -huh. that's actually a very good move. Okay, let's see what she wants. Yeah, this is typical Benoni, but uh, I managed to exchange the bishop, so black should be all right in my opinion. Maybe b5 was a better move, ah, but she gave me the chance which is not so great. Yeah, this I think uh, shouldn't be so good for her. Mm. Maybe just before a before and knight before to get knight d knight to d three maybe. Also, h six g five is a nice way to continue. But I have to be careful uh, not to let 
the night to come to see for. Uh huh. Um, yeah, this gives a lot of options for me. So, for example, C4. Now, knight d3, rook b8, it's quite annoying. Um, and if knight d4, I have knight d5. Wow. So if knight d3. A rook c8, I guess. Just defending the c4 pawn and uh huh. She decided to sacrifice this, okay. Ah, but she just missed uh, knight d5. Otherwise, knight c6, that's a nice compensation. Uh, but after this, I think uh, it's pretty much over. Just to move this rook away from any kind of. Okay, should be on that. Uh huh. I thought she was going to resign. Interesting game. Oh, welcome back, Monkey King. Let's see. One more Sicilian. Okay, I will play something else here. Let's. Wow, Monkey King plays really fast. E5. It's a surprising move. So I'm not giving any chance for this. And now c4, knight c3 simply. And I have nice control of d5 square. Yeah, this is a bit weird what Monkey King is doing. I don't understand. Because B5, I'm just going to take the pawn. Now I have normal development with Bishop B2, Rook C1. Ah, this is nice move uh, with the idea to play Queen C5, maybe. Oh, yes, I completely forgot about that. Yeah, that was not such a nice thing.
Hmm. Okay. BC4, I can think of just taking, oh, Bishop D5. That was unexpected. So I just take. Not sure, but C5 should be good. Because after D C5, I have D6. And something like Knight B7, I can go C6. Yes, monkey is playing good. <laughs> okay, I was thinking too much. Let's go. Let's. It's time for me to play the bullet. Can okay, takes it five d six and just gonna take it. I get such a nice positions against monkey king. Wow. There are many ways to win. Um, I think this is the easiest. Maybe not. Maybe it is. Bishop c5, bishop a5, and d7. Knight of two rook d4. And I, I'm going to play c7 next. OK, king h2. Yeah, it's just too many pawns on d7 and c6. Wow, OK. Okay, nice. This was a nice game by me, actually. Oh. Oh. My opponent is not on. The, not here once again. So I have to abort. Crypto, but I just played him. Okay, crypto, let's go. Crypto crashed. Say crypto crash, huh? Okay, so I go e4 once again. Okay, so a lot of people challenged, but not at, not there, yeah. Okay, Morozevich should be there. Uh, we have a lot of debates here. <laughs> yes. 
Um, okay, I'm going to change. I think the right move was D4, but uh, okay. Who knows? Yeah, I think I played slightly in a credit here. Yes, that's the right move. Maybe knight g6 plus. The opening part didn't really go well for me here without any doubt. So let's play h4. Huh? Now I can castle maybe or. Uh, Okay, it's not so clear. Yeah, this this is not not going to be an easy game for me. Oh, this is such a horrible move. Yeah, this I'm not so much worried. I I wanted to have this. I think knight f3 was the right move. But luckily, did not see. Now I have a nice blockade, as you can see. At some point, I will capture this knight, but uh, there is still some time. I will first regroup queen f6 and so on. Wow, queen f3. We get pretty weird position here. Uh, so I take AB and F6. I would have loved to have the rook on C7. Uh, then I could just go bishop F4 and yeah, this is the problem. Yeah, maybe I am in danger here. Yeah, I am in slight danger actually. Yeah. Um, okay, let's go here. Okay, C4 is definitely not the move I was expecting. And for a good reason. Now I get the chance to put the rook on c7, but I will not give him the chance to run away with this. Um, okay, knight f4. I don't know why I played that, because that's a bad move. Okay, this is nice. I think King H2 would have been so much problematic for me.
look at my king. <laughs> what a wonderful king. And I put my king on C3 before. Amazing king. Wow. This was nice. Not an easy game. Actually, I think I was quite in danger. Well played, Zevich. Yeah, C4 was quite C4 was quite unnecessary. Okay. D4, D5, C4, E6. So I'm guessing I should play D4 then. But <laughs> you're supposed to play. Oh, come on. <laughs> you're supposed to play D4, D5, C4, E6. This is the way to trick your opponents. Okay. Yeah, in in Dutch defense, you have a lot of a uh, lot of setups for both sides. I am not a big expert from from the black side of Dutch defense, so in fact, I'm not a big fan of it. Ninety four. Yeah, that's very interesting. Uh, I can just play queen c2, right? Ah, but e5. Oh, so tricky. This is very tricky. Tricky player. Knight c3, if I take queen c3, uh, he wants e5, d, d, and bishop b4, and he wants to laugh at me. D4, D5, C4, E6. What a name. Yeah, BC looks a bit weird, uh, but in general, this is good. And now I am going to go all in there. H4, Knight, G5. I'm not sure actually if there is something. Yeah, but with C4 also, you kind of uh, um, uh, weaken a lot of things, Zevich. Because in endgame, calculation is very important. Oh, C4. What happens after C5? I still can't take this pawn on f5 because some kind of bishop d4. I have to be a bit careful with the... I don't know why I did that, but it can't harm. Okay, bishop g5 is a really bad move. Okay, g6 is is maybe not. You shouldn't play like this. Okay, I think the checkmate is pretty soon coming. Yeah, now I'm just going to put all the pieces there.
problem is after rook f7 i always have rook g6 so it's hard to defend and what i missed is queen g5 why did i give this chance i mean i could have played rook h6 first yeah i think this this is what uh, missed yeah no no it doesn't matter so yeah interesting game shadow mate okay so i must check me once again oh there we go finally we have a Lopez. Not this Ruy Lopez. <laughs> Come on. Okay. This is not the right move, but uh, maybe just transpose. Okay. So queen e2. Queen e4 is uh, another way to play after queen e7, d4, knight c6, queen e7, b7, I think is the line. This is more challenging. Yeah, so bishop d4, queen e4 uh, is the point. Now I see there is a possibility to play queen f6. Oh, queen e7. Okay, it's too much time, uh, spending too much time. Okay, queen c5 is definitely uh, a blunder, I think. Um, probably just this. Queen takes b5 and f4, uh, I'm winning a piece. Unless I am missing something here. Am I missing something? No. I don't think so. Just a piece up. F5 was a nice uh, trick. Queen F5, Knight F3 wins for black. Yup. Come on, Yup. Let's go. Yeah. 
Yeah, just pinning the bishop on b2 and uh, getting bishop c5 next with the idea of attacking the pawn on f2. Actually, even bishop b4 is... Uh, uh -huh. Okay, so why not to bring this bishop? Both uh, knight c6 as well as d6 is good. I'm going to take d6 because knight d2. Yeah, I can play e5, right? Yeah, e5 looks good. Queen c2 and maybe knight g6, threatening to go to f4. And if g3, I have bishop h3. Let's see. Let's see how you will defend this. Knight f3, okay. And I go knight f4. Ah, okay. Two piece ready to give the bishop. Okay, so fine. Let me take it. Black still has uh, a nice position, uh, queen h5 and rook d8, followed by f6. If knight e5, queen e4 should be fine. Knight d2 is a bit weird to my taste because knight can't move from d2, and uh, which means uh, all I have to do is just play rook d7 and Rook d8, and I'm going to capture the e4 pawn. I could also make one move h6, just in case. And king h7. Uh -huh. It's not really a zoog swung kind of position that okay. Oh, I'm really low on time. Oh. 
Yes, that's that's the way. That's the way you defeat the flaggers. Oh, little Gary. So the idea is to go bishop b4. Uh, yeah, uh, I think it's knight of three. Yeah, knight of three. Yeah, little Gary is very confident about this position. Yeah, black seems to be doing fine, actually. I I thought it's much worse, but actually black is fine. How should I play here? Maybe this. Get bishop f3, knight f5. Actually, knight f5, d6 is a serious idea now. After CD, I can consider bishop f3, maybe. g5. OK, there is knight f5, of course. Uh, so let's try knight f5. Because now it forces bishop f8. If bishop e5, I take on h6. So then I get, well, there is d6, but OK, it's not good. So bishop g3. So I pin the bishop on b7 and uh, uh -huh, 94. That's that is a nice move. That is a nice move, which I missed, obviously. But luckily, I have this move. And if knight takes c3, I have this nasty move, bishop d8, knight d1, and bishop f6. Yeah, queen c7 is what I thought. And then knight takes d5. 
If queen c4 again, bishop e4, knight f6. And yeah, and queen d5. This should be winning. I mean, I have such a nice bishop. Uh, knight f6 is probably a mistake because of queen d4. And now both knight on f6 and a rook is hanging. So. I am greedy, so I'm just going to take the pawn before capturing this. Yeah, this was, uh, I think G5 was uh, a mistake in this game. Okay, so I wait for the blunders. Blunder. Okay, there you go, the London system is back. But what is this? Um, okay, let's see what what was the point of this whole thing. I'm not sure if this is some kind of some crappy theory or what. Did I just fall into some preparation? Okay, it doesn't seem like. I have just simple e6, bishop d6 plan, and I'm not sure how white is going to capture this pawn back without making some concessions. Okay, but knight b5 doesn't give any. The c7 pawn is protected by my knight, so I don't really understand the point of knight b5. Be justifying his name. Bishop b4, c6. Yeah, last couple of moves are really like a puzzle to me. Uh, I think I understand the problem of white here, but uh, I, I'm I'm getting close, you know, just c takes d4 and yeah, bishop e5, f6. What? Yeah, this is a blunder because of queen takes d2, king takes d2, and knight c5, bishop d4, knight b3, which has been missed. And this is even maybe not. Uh, and e5 yeah i was thinking somehow 
his bishop on d4 should uh, get trapped yeah white will win this knight on a1 but it doesn't help I also win the c3 pawn now, taken with the c pawn though. Anyway, I have to, uh, I mean, I have ex an extra rook, so it's not going to help. Can just take the pawn. I'm going to take everything. Really, what's the point? Good choice. Well, if it's completely lost, and I mean, there's no point in just continuing because it wastes time and for other other players, you know. Today I just play knight of all the time. No problem. Why must I lose? This is delaying uh, on capturing the D7. Oh, E6. That's not how it is done. I think white should and black should have played knight f6 and just normal position. Yeah, this is not so good. This is not going to be good. Yeah, how to defend this d6 pawn here? I have no idea. Oof. That's really disparate. I have almost winning advantage here, but probably I shouldn't talk too much about this. Um, well, I think Bishop G5 shouldn't hurt. With the idea if castle, I have bishop e7. Okay, small trap, which probably my opponent will fall. Unless he's listening, maybe. Okay, now let's go this time here. Bishop d6. Very interesting thing is after queen c8, I could probably go knight d5. Um, okay, let's make this move. I think this is a good move. Rook takes it four.
Yeah, I could I could have gone for something forcing, uh, but with my bishop on d6, it, it should be uh, anywhere winning. So something like queen d2 on rook cf1 is coming next. Maybe even rook d1 with the idea of bishop e7. Yeah, maybe I should have made a3, so knight a5, I have bishop a2 here. Knight a5, I just gonna go back. Aha, knight c8. This is something which I missed. But no problem, I have e5, luckily. Knight d6, I can take e takes f6, but rook f6, rook f6, knight c4, and so on. So I just take. Yeah, now king g8, I have queen d6. I think, uh, wow, that's a nice thing, but I think I have too many ways to defend this rook. Maybe not too many. I definitely this scout check and where is the mid? A still fighting. Yeah, this was surprisingly easy, an easy game. Okay, so d4 should we go for nimso or the slav maybe nimso is not bad but everybody plays uh yeah something like this quite popular and uh, not an easy easy thing I'm not, I'm not sure if I should take on e2. Yeah, now I should. So far, it's good. What has happened here? Um, of course, now it all depends on how who is faster. Queen b6, I should always watch out for knight d7. So let's see if I want to take this knight on e5 or not okay yeah it's pretty dry okay i'm gonna not take this wow i wasn't really intending to repeat the moves but anyway that's good now Knight c4, knight f5, probably. Yeah, if I looks quite nice, but uh, I also have some other options there. So rook e8 can't harm me. Okay, this wasn't expected actually because now I get to you know take something and also besides i have i can push b5 and queen b7 and so on oh there you go it's a mistake now i'm just just a pawn up white doesn't really have a composition for the pawn i mean it's not lost yet Uh, knight f5, I don't really need it. I just go back. 
knight f5 queen b2 it's unnecessary so b5 a takes b5 c takes a takes b5 and um i get this nice a file uh b4 looks nice at the first side but you know i get knight to c4 and um yeah it's time to just just go to a2 So knight on c4 nicely controls uh, e5 and many other important squares. Now I just exchange the rooks because the bishop is pretty hopeless in any in knight versus bishop and game. Yeah, and h5. There's simply no counter chances. I think I can just play this. It should be enough for me. Probably a knight d2 was a bit more accurate instead of h5, but okay, it's not so important. Bishop, bishop e5, knight f3, and now knight e4, uh, c3 pawn also falls. Oh, still fighting. Okay. Yeah, there are many ways uh, to win this. Okay, it's good. Opening was definitely interesting. So this is this was I don't know. We go e4. Okay, maybe Ru Lopez. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Hmm. My opponent knows theory quite well. Uh, what's the move here? I don't know. I think it's knight f1. I'm not 100% sure if this is the way, but uh, at least it looks nice. So now, uh, since, you know, the tension on the queen side has been uh, clarified, now it's time to go for the attack on the king side. White switches the gaze. Of course, d4 is a threat, but also most more importantly, knight f5 and h4, h5 kind of tricks are there. Welcome, Sispal. G6, okay. So in general, g6 is not bad, uh, but uh, should I go d4? I think d4 is good. Why not? I just think that he missed this, this move. Because the nice trick is after rook moves, I have queen d4. Ah, that's a nice trick. Okay. 
Yeah, or else um, Black has to sacrifice the exchange. calculating d3 yeah so d3 bishop f8 dc2 uh, queen d4 bishop f8 uh, queen b4 knight d3 queen c3 knight e1 knight e1 and just queen c2 so that wins Yeah, this is pretty much forcing. Um, okay, this doesn't really help. Okay, G3 is cannot be bad. Now I can get knight f5. Okay, just make king g2. As I said, when all the pawns are in dark squares, um, yeah, I think. Uh, uh huh. Okay, I must be careful with some things here. So queen d6. What does he want? Yeah, probably missed. And ah, okay, queen e4, I have queen d8. Queen c5, g4, and I'm okay too, but okay, let's go queen d8. Take this. This is a bit risky, I have to say. I have c4, knight d6 though. Uh, queen e8. I wasn't really expecting that. So I go knight e3, f6, queen c4. Okay, let's give a five check. And queen c5. So queen g8, queen b3 is not possible. I'm going to play simple because this is just winning. Ah, nice. Let me meet him. Uh, actually, it's not meta. Okay, could not meet. Okay, this will be the last game. Good man. Q. So let's go E4. Knight of once again. Oh no, okay, Sveshnikov, but no thanks. Also, d4 was an option. So yeah, if C, D takes C3, D takes C3 uh, gives my bishop a good, okay, bishop E5, I wasn't really, I did not think about that move. So bishop A3, if bishop B2 was good. So if short castle, I could go B5, that's my idea. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how do I bring this knight on b1. Oh, 
Oh, maybe d3 and knight d2. That could be nice. Because if d3, rook a2, uh, the pawn on d3 is hanging. It's a very, very strange position we have reached here. <laughs> yeah, knight b4. Oh, knight b8. That's nice move actually to get knight to c5. I would like to play c5, but the problem is after dc5, bishop c5, bishop h2, I lose the pawn, so I have to play this. And I get the knight to f3 or something. Yeah, black must be careful about this bishop on e5. It's not the most safe. It's not safe on e5. It's much better on e7. So let's see. Queen c7. So what happens after knight f3? Aha, uh -huh. he wants to go back. Let's pretend to attack something, but actually the idea is to get f4, e5, and knight e4. Okay, now it's it's time for us to go for the attack. But maybe it's not yet working because after e5, d5, knight e4, still black has f5. So I have to move this queen. So e5, I have d5 ah, with the knight on. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. I could have done it, yes. Okay, let's go. Anyways. I think it's a nice sacrifice. Bishop e5, probably I, I will take it. Yeah, that's a good good choice. Um, but unfortunately, this is lost. Bishop c5, queen c5, knight e4. Queen e5, knight g5 is lost, and queen c7, knight f6, bishop f6, e takes f6, and I doubt very much this will survive. Okay, so queen b4, I have rook e b1, and the queen is trapped, so must go to c7. No other choice. So queen h6 is threatened. So let's make small. Aha, he designed. Okay, that's uh, that's it for today. And uh, thank you very much for uh, joining and. Uh,
watching the banter blitz have a nice